The new CAT M-Series small wheelers are packed with features to make your work easy. Let's have a look at some of those new features together. Come on in. Now we can customize your experience with the M-Series small wheelers with high stat operator modes, allowing us to fine tune the feel of this intelligent high stat powertrain to match your application requirements or to meet your individual operator preferences. Come on in and let's have a look at how to make those adjustments and what the machine behavior is in each of the four high stat operator modes. Let's have a look at some of the powertrain customization available to us through our intelligent high stat powertrain system. So into our information, navigate to machine, and into settings. Starting with powertrain modes. This allows you as an operator to choose the characteristics or the feel of the powertrain system. Now default mode combines some of the best characteristics of a conventional torque converter and a classic high stat together. TC mode or torque converter mode brings on true torque converter feel with freewheeling down grades and around corners. High stat mode acts as a conventional or classic high stat with really aggressive engine braking and crisp directional shifts. And finally, ice mode, which has been fine-tuned to maximize your control on slippery underfoot conditions. Now let's put powertrain modes into application here in a long load and carry run. I'm running in range three and I'm running down about an eight to 11% grade. And I would like to show you the coast out characteristic difference as we progress through the different high stat operator mode choices. Let's start with default mode. So into our display, navigate to machine, into settings, into high stat operator mode, navigate to the default mode, and let's put this machine to work. I'm gonna click it in gear. I'm gonna to go to maximum RPM, range three, and as I hit the crest of the hill, I'm gonna take my foot off the gas. And here you can see the coast out characteristics in default mode. Now let's have a look at the coast out characteristic in a long load and carry run in that TC or torque converter mode, which is gonna bring on a slope compensation logic. The machine will sense that it's on the grade and it will freewheel down the hill. Let's have a look together. Back into high stat operator modes, navigate to TC mode, and let's put the machine to work. As you can see, the coast out characteristics in TC mode with that slope compensation logic is utilizing the free energy at the top of the hill. So for this type of application, this would be my recommendation as it's gonna save you fuel when you run these long load and carry runs and enjoy that free energy coasting down the hill. Now let's have a look at the high stat mode characteristics, which are gonna bring on more aggressive braking. So as we start to coast down the hill, we're gonna couple the powertrain and engine to give us that braking characteristic. So into my high stat operator mode, navigate to high stat mode, and let's put this machine to work here in classic high stat. the crest of the hill I take my foot off the gas and I can hear the engine revving to help me brake and bring me to a controlled stop even before I hit the bottom of the hill. Now if your application benefits from that, if you need that braking down hills to control your descent, this is a good choice for you. 
Now let's have a look at that last mode, that ice setting, which has been tuned to maximize your control on underfoot conditions which are slippery like snow or ice. We generally do not recommend that for firm surfaces like concrete or gravel, but let's have a look here in this long load and carry run just to show you all of your choices. So back into high stat operator modes, navigate to ice and let's put it to work. So as you can see, the ice mode setting reduces the deceleration and acceleration rate so that you can maximize your control. Now it also softens the directional shifts, keeping those wheels fixed to the ground. Now a subtle but important difference to note with all of the high stat operator modes is their behavior when you put the machine in gear, whether it be forward or reverse. Let's have a look together. Let's navigate to our high stat operator modes, machine, settings, high stat operator modes. Now, in default mode, torque converter mode, as well as ice mode, when we put the machine in gear, similar to a torque converter, it's gonna to start to creep forward without any input from you, the operator, for gas or for power. So as I flip the machine in gear, here in TC mode, notice that the RPM bumps up to 1,000, and I start to creep forward. Now as I toggle into neutral, the machine will come to a controlled stop. Again, as I toggle into reverse, without any operator input, just like a torque converter, the machine is gonna start to creep backwards. Now in high stat mode, similar to other classic high stats, when I put the machine in gear, now in high stat mode, nothing will happen until you, the operator, give it a little bit of gas. And as you push on the gas, it will go progressively faster and faster. When you take your foot off of the gas, it will come to a controlled stop. Same thing in reverse. When I flip the machine in reverse, in high stat mode, the machine is not gonna move until I give it a little bit of gas, a little bit of power. And when I remove my foot, the machine will come to a nice controlled stop. With Caterpillar exclusive features like high stat operator modes, this machine can be customized to meet your individual applications, making this a great choice for your business. The M Series Small Wheelers have been packed with features to help you and your business be successful. For more information, please contact your cat dealer. Now let's go to work.